Good morning. Hello, Amanda. Good morning. Uh, hot but good. Green tea. So, it is actually not that much of a morning time anymore. I think it's like coming 11 o'clock. And I weighed myself, you guys saw, it is in pounds, I can't remember how much that is in kilograms, I don't really want to know either, but yeah, I weighed 190 today, which is 5 pounds more than when we started our um, intermittent fasting a little over a month ago, and that is why intermittent fasting doesn't work for me. I gained weight. I gained five pounds. So, I guess I should start with some background information. Um, my height is five foot six, aka 169 centimeters. And um, I used to be 25 pounds less. So, 25 pounds lighter when I came to the USA for the first time for actually yeah for the first time too and then a year after that as well so I used to be around 165 at my lowest and kind of like 165 170 back when I was in Belfast and back when I was in Finland and um, that was between the years of 2016 and 2017 mid 2017 and then I started coming to United States for three months at a time and then now I've lived here for over a year and rest assured it has snuck up on me and yeah so the goal here is to get back to 165 or lower I don't think I have to go below 160 but I would like to push myself to 159 just to like say I've done it once and then have a little bit of room to like let my weight fluctuate within a comfortable um, comfortable ratio, comfortable levels, you know? So yeah, we're trying to lose 25 pounds and I would love to know if somebody there is in my boat, whether you want to lose 20 pounds, 2 pounds, 50, 100, you know? If you want to team up with me, I've actually never, ever, ever shared my weight. And I used to have a very popular, not very popular, semi popular um, weight loss and fitness blog in Finland. And I even there never shared my weight. I just shared my diet routine, my weight loss um, stories, experiences, and stuff. And I plan on doing that now with you guys in English on a video form. And um, it's going to be a lot of randomness. I'm not going to set a schedule for myself. I do want to make at least one video a week. I don't know if I'm going to weigh myself every week. I don't really like weighing myself too often and I don't promote that. So why would I do that if I don't promote that for others? Um, but anything weight loss related that i do i do want to document for you guys so i want to keep it kind of chill and casual here so kind of like how my blog was because that's the way i i stay inspired and and motivated to do these because if i if i set a structure for myself then i it feels like a job and that doesn't work for me so i guess that would cover a little bit of our goals and um, uh, what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go with a low carb, basically restricting my calories through low carb, um, but it's a bit different. So I did this in Belfast where I also lost 20 pounds in one year, but um, it was a gradual process and... Um, what I did was I ate healthy. I checked the calories on anything I bought so that it's not something crazy. And um, 
I avoided carbs if it was unnecessary. No, I, I ate oatmeal. Sometimes I would eat pasta. That was whole wheat pasta. <clears throat> but most of the time, I would just eat salads. And, and um, even at a salad buffet, I already know what has a lot of carbs and what doesn't. So I would just avoid fatty or high carb and try to go with lean meats and uh, lean protein and and a little bit of carb here and a little bit of fat there but nothing excessive and the reason for that is I've done low carb I've done fitness diet I actually used to have a personal trainer but she was my friend but I was her client for a year and for that year she trained me I had workout programs I had eating programs I was counting macros which are the grams of protein fats and carb that's called macros you count your the macros of your food and i was following a really strict routine really strict and i literally on average didn't lose any weight on that during that year but i did gain muscle probably so i did probably lose fat and like a little bit and turn it into muscle like i did lose like a couple kilos on average maybe but it wasn't sustainable it wasn't really working for me because I remember I was really oh I have a pen here because I was gonna make my shopping list here with you guys so I was making um making myself kind of miserable and even during summer if I wanted to have an ice cream I either didn't or I would feel really guilty after having an ice cream I mean that's not really life one ice cream. I wasn't even going like crazy. Back then I used to wear maybe 175. Between 170 and 175. So yeah, I have a lot of weight loss background. I have a lot of information in me. I know what I have to do. And I finally know what works for me. And that is just not going from one extreme to another so even with uh intermittent fasting i already knew it wasn't gonna work for me but i didn't know i was gonna gain weight <laughs> i thought i was gonna just maintain um and we did that for lent because it seems to work for my husband so um why it doesn't work for me is because i can basically only follow one rule like if I'm doing intermittent fasting, I follow the time schedule. Don't eat between 8 p.m. and 12 p. 12 a.m. 8 p.m. and noon, you know? And I did that, and as soon as noon hit, I would eat anything between that eight hour window that I wanted, you know? And most of the time, it wasn't low calorie food, so that really just it's it self-control is hard you know you you're better off preaching than actually practicing so yeah that didn't work for me um going strictly on keto i've kind of dipped into that and what i would do then is just eat bacon and chicken thighs with you know stuff on it and fat fatty foods and fatty everything because i was like yeah i can do this now since i'm avoiding carbs Technically, yeah, but that's not, first of all, that's not healthy. That Second of all, it wouldn't work for me. It didn't work for me. I hardly lost any weight if, if I even lost weight, you know, because I was still getting a massive amount of calories from fats because I didn't know how to control that side of me. What has worked for me and what I am most happy with and it's most versatile for me is eating basic healthy <laughs> and making sure I avoid any unnecessary carbs, any unnecessary fats and incorporate a lot of vegetables. I'm really good at that too. Like I already can vision a lot of meals that I can have. Like it's very automatic, automated in me where I just go to the fridge and I see some ingredients and I just grab and I make whatever I can. And it's usually always, if I decide it on myself, it's usually very low calorie. Right now I have um, shrimp there, uh, thawing, and uh, boiled eggs. And I'm gonna make a little salad and probably use some kind of dressing. I'm not gonna be super strict on dressings because I only use a little bit. And um, 
they can have carbs, but I try to avoid them. Like I said, like it's just kind of natural for me to avoid carbs, sugars. Um, I tend to avoid carbs more than fats, but I also like if I see a fat-free version of something, obviously I'll pick that one. And um, yeah, you'll find out more. This is kind of a ramble video, but you'll find out more throughout my videos. I might make multiple videos a week in the beginning because I'm just excited to start this. Um, even though it was kind of like, well, there you go, 190. But I wasn't as depressed as I usually am when I go on the scale because I already knew that I'm starting today and I already knew that I'm very motivated and I'm sharing this with you guys. So, yeah. I usually do drink coffee, by the way, but I figured since we have green tea, it's good for your metabolism. I drank that. Also made this water, you saw it, but it's got lime and blueberries. And um, as these videos keep going on, you'll see why I actually want to buy wild blueberries and not the ones that they sell here in America, because wild blueberries are different. So I'm going to take you shopping with me. I'm going to make my grocery list and stuff with you guys. I actually wanted this video to be really chill too, but for some reason it kind of came off like, i got to tell you this, 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 this. Anyway, I actually have a list here, a grocery store list that I've started and um, apart from dishwasher tablets, I might as well read you a few things. I put chicken, onion, tomato, beef, melon, even though it's high in carbs, I might opt out, but you know, I would, since that's healthy, I would rather just satisfy my craving for sweets by eating a fruit than starve myself from sweets and then relapse and eat something wrong or eat too much food because that's another thing that happens too is i eat massive portions if i limit myself from something else so if i if i allow myself to eat a, a little bit of everything my portion control stays in control <laughs> so um i put avocado I will probably incorporate that, but only like half an avocado. I think one avocado on average has a 300 calories. So I do not want 300 calories from a side product to my meal. So I would probably add like half an avocado to a, a meal here or there. Salad dressing, because the ones we have suck and I want to inspire myself. <laughs> and mustard. Mustard is really low in calories. I don't usually eat ketchup anyway. Um, I wonder what else I want to add to this. I mean, lots of veggies. We have um, we have plans on doing like a bigger grocery haul next week, but um, for now I just want to get necessities to get started on my week, and we'll see what Berto wants to do and what he wants to eat. He might not eat the same foods as me always, or he might. Um, what else? I think it's time for me to end this because the maintenance team is going crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys later. These are going to be really casual. Thanks for watching. Cheers.